Beefing up school security in Maryland, big changes are coming across the state as a group of leaders will soon identify what needs to be done to better protect hundreds of schools. WJZ is live. Rick Ritter with more on the legislation that just passed. Rick. Well, Vic, over the past few weeks, we've heard political leaders say that every school is different in terms of what they need to bolster security. This bill will help decide just that. But here in Baltimore City, school police officers, they were hoping for more. The heartache in Parkland, Florida, and here in St. Mary's County has ripped families apart. Two shootings that changed our country forever. This is real. It could happen here. We need to, to be proactive. Since the tragedies, Maryland is one state making the safety of children its top priority. It's much needed in Maryland and all throughout the whole country. Spearheaded by Senator Kathy Clausmeyer, the Safe to Learn Act has now been approved by Governor Hogan. Legislation that's designed to identify the resources and training students and teachers need with a sub cabinet working with each school individually. We must keep our children safe. We must uh, let our parents know that we are doing our best to keep the children safe. But here in Baltimore City, school police officers were hoping for a change to carry their guns in school. That's a law that needs to be fixed. Um, we think it's old. We have a chance to do it. You know, we felt it was a win win. It was a no brainer. A city that's confiscated several handguns from students in just months. Uh, unfortunately, Baltimore City, we, met, we, we missed a, a great chance to do something good for our students. Mayor Catherine Pugh. Well, I haven't heard that from the school police. What I do know is that the police, our school police, have guns. When they go inside of a school, there's a lockbox that they have to put them in. While the legislation has the state headed in the right direction, some in Baltimore City are calling for more. I think it would take a tragedy to wake up the naysayers um, to understand that this is a realistic situation that could happen here. And the senator says this bill will go hand in hand with the funding that Governor Hogan announced to enhance school safety. Live in Baltimore City tonight, I'm Rick Ritter for WJZ. Rick, thank you. In February, Governor Hogan announced funding of more than $125 million to enhance school safety in Maryland.